it says right. Put it in like this. You should have a piece left over from cutting all those pieces that looks like this. Put that in, tighten it, and then get a back saw. Some people are having trouble holding the piece and sawing at the same time. So if one of your friends wants to hold it while you cut, that's a good idea. Grecia, hold it for me. Once it moves, you know you're all done. This you don't need a pencil because it goes all the way to the end, so you can just push it out. And you want to cut two of these. Then you're going to have a piece left over like this. It's almost going to be the exact same size as the piece that you cut. So make sure the pieces that you cut are the same size. The one that's smaller, that's going to be your leftover piece. This is what you hand me to get the scrap for the bandsaw. If no one else needs two and one fourth at your table, put this back on my desk. Before I give it to you, I'm going to ask you how many you're going to cut so you can remember how many you're going to cut is. And if your answer is four, you will not get this piece. Your answer should be five. How this works is you want to have this up against the fence and you're going to push it through. Stop. You do not want to grab those pieces until the blade has come to a complete stop. It takes about 45 seconds to stop. Put these in your bag so you don't lose them. You're going to hand this piece in. I'm going to give you 220. Then you're going to sand these pieces. Just sand the ends. That's all you have to do is sand the ends until it's smooth and there's no splinters. Smooth. If you feel any ridges, keep sanding that. If you want, you can wrap this around your sanding block. You can put this around your sanding block and put this in the vise. And sand so it feels smooth. Once these are all sanded, hand in the 220 grit. And on Monday, you start gluing it together. 